Absolute Wealth. Real investors, real results. Hubert Sanders here with AbsoluteWealth.com. Let's take a look at the Dow Jones Industrials. So we're looking at the futures contract. So this is just the Dow futures. And I'm going to try to make a case for you to buy the Dow so that you can hold through the Thanksgiving. Because a lot of times the Santa Claus rally will actually start around the week of Thanksgiving. And then you also have... A couple of other people thinking that the, the fiscal cliff is a slope, and you're also looking at potential deals for the fiscal cliff, which, let's face it, folks, um, if you spend more money than you make, it's going to be hard to dig yourself out of that hole, and you can't dig yourself out of your hole by spending more. So anyway, we're, we're still in rough shape here, but we have sold off so severely here, or in other words, we've had a good little pullback. And it's time to step in here and see if we can hold this area. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the Fibonacci ratios. And we're going to draw from June's low all the way up to the most recent highs. And we are going to note that we are in this good little support area here of 12,525. We can also see that the average true range is about 173. So in other words, we're going to risk a multiple of 173 you can either divide that by a number like you can divide that by two and it'll give you half of 173 or you can multiply that times anything like two so we're just going to risk one average true range so 173 points in other words we're going to risk either this low here or 173 points to see if we're correct on this trade setup now we're not just going to blindly go in and blindly enter what we're going to do is we are going to use the high of the low bar so this is uh, the low bar so far and then today you can see we made an, another low so on well, I'm doing this, that's the 16th, so that's Friday. So what we really need to happen is we need to close above the high of the low bar. So I'm going to draw on the chart so that you completely understand. So this is the low of the, this is the low of the low bar. Now don't ask me why I put two W's in there, but I did. This would be the high of the low bar. So we want to know what the high of the low bar is and what the low of the low bar is. And there's two different stops we can use. We can either use this low or if you feel like you want to risk a little bit more money, 173 points on the Dow. All right, so let's use the pointer for that. Now we're going to find out that the high was 12,573. 12,573. And then the low is going to be a low of 12,434. So we're going to risk less than 100 and 73 points on that trade we need to have the trade either close above 12,573 or have an execution above that and all i mean by that is if you get price action that is right above that high that will be your long entry and this will be your stop entry okay that'll be your stop order now where is the target the target could actually retrace fairly decent and then we just reverse the fibs we'll go one two target would be 12,834 to 12,924. So we're risking about 100 or so points in order to potentially make mm, anywhere from three to 400 points on the trade. Good luck. Hope it helps. See you on the next video.